Good morning, guys. Um, I wanted to do a Bible study on... I'm going to start in Acts 8 at 26. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Go south to the road, the desert road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and on his way he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasury of the Candake, which means queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and on his way home was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, Go to the chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man <clears throat> reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you are reading? Philip asked. How can I? He said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. This is the passage of the scripture the eunuch was reading. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of, the, of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What can, what can stand in the way of my being baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away, and the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip, however, appeared at Azotus and traveled about preaching the gospel in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. So, if you did not know, that right there was Philip being translated or teleported um, from one place to another. And that is one of the gifts that Jesus said we who have his Holy Spirit would do all that he can do and greater things. And that is one of the gifts. Um, and being one with him, with Jesus' his spirit, having his spirit within us, we have access to all gifts by our faith in him. Sorry, my lashes are all messed up. <laughs> um, but also something very interesting I noticed because Jesus created me to look look at numbers for because he created me for this time and yeah but I want to show you something okay so this is the book of Acts which is the 44th book and it's chapter 8 and the part about Philip and the Ethiopian Ethiopian eunuch is 26 through 40. And our God is a God of numbers. So everything, names, I mean, uh, birth dates dates, times, everything is strategically planned or approved by God for his glory, for his purposes. So, if you take 
and the four plus four, which 44 means chosen or fish hook. Jesus said he would make us fishers of men, right? Um, 44 is eight plus this eight, chapter eight, equals 16, which one plus six equals seven. And then you have the seven, two, six, that's harpazo. Okay, and seven, two, six, harpazo means to be caught up or snatched away in an open display. So Philip was caught away by the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, which is also another word for rapture. So you can be caught away as in translated from one place to another or teleported from one place to another. It was God's creation first and God's gift by his spirit first. The enemy took it and twisted it and tried to make his own copycat version. Pretty cool, huh? Now, during the actual rapture, The harpazo, the catching away of the bride of Christ, we will be changed. As in, put, we will be transformed into our glorious bodies. I also think it's funny that this is the first empty page because the verse at the bottom for the lord god is a sun and shield the lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly them who walk in his spirit no good thing will he withhold <clears throat> including the gifts of his holy spirit so it is by our faith and our action that we take in faith that we can experience and use the gifts for his glory to serve him and to serve his people. Glory to God. I love you in Christ. God bless.